Okay, here's another example uh, from the textbook. Take this fraction and write it as a sum of terms. So the first step would be to separate it out. x squared over x plus negative 4x over x plus 2 over x. And then um, reduce x into x squared. So that's x plus or plus negative 4, or I could just call that negative 4. But when I try to reduce this, there's no x. But if I want it as a sum of terms, typically that means no fractions. Then I have to move this x to the top of the fraction. So it becomes 2x to the negative 1. So you learned negative exponents last year. So that's a little bit tricky. That's another way to write this particular problem. Now, <clears throat> same thing goes for this one. This one's a little bit trickier, though. So the first thing we'll do is write it into the three separate fractions. So we have x squared over root x plus negative 4x over root x plus 2 over root x. Well, I need that written in exponent form. So what's another way to write square root of x? What exponent would that be? Hopefully, you know that that's x to the 1 half. So I have x squared over x to the 1 half plus negative 4x <coughs> over x to the 1 half plus 2 over x to the 1 half. Now, if I simplify that by reducing, right, x to the 2 <coughs> is really, if I want to use the same fraction, I could call that 6 halves. So 6 halves take away 1 half is 5 halves, so that becomes x to the 5 halves, working with exponents, important in algebra here. All right, exponent here is a 1, so that's the same thing as 2 halves. So 2 halves take away 1 half would be 1 half. So minus 4x to the 1 half. And then this one doesn't have an x with it, or you could think of it as x to the 0. And 0 take away 1 half is negative 1 half. So this would be plus 2 x to the negative 1 half. Tricky exponent stuff. I'm sure you remember working with exponents last year. If not, we will do uh, another chapter dealing with exponents, so you will get some more lessons on that this year. All right, good luck with the...